What's up guys, my name is Technumber here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a really different ones off video for you that'll go through the hardware and software that I currently have and use to create these videos as well as freelance videos and videos on my other channels. So without further ado, here is my 2020 setup, which will probably be my setup for a while. So to start off this video, let's start off with hardware as that's the most requested, most questioned, and probably most important part of this video. So currently I'm using a rather expensive setup, mostly because my work completely revolves around creating videos or doing voiceovers or things like that. Because I have a rather deep voice and it really has a nice warm sound to it, I chose a warm microphone and setup that would suit it. I landed on the Shure SM7B after progressing from a blue Snowball to a blue Yeti and then eventually to this over here. Now, of course, because it's a dynamic microphone, you need a lot of amplification to get it to work properly. So I have a DBX-286S microphone preamp processor that has a gate on it and has a tiny bit of EQ done on it. For those curious with a similar product, here are my settings on screen. Then it gets sent to an Audient ID14 audio interface, where it's then processed and sent into my PC. And of course, because it is such a gain-hungry mic, I tend to get better results with amplification using a Triton Audio Fethead in line as well as the DBX286 mic preamp processor. This is plugged directly into my mic before it goes through the probably 1 meter XLR cable to my DBX286S. Then of course, with high quality audio, I'll need a high quality way to monitor exactly what's happening. So I settled with Sennheiser HD700 headphones, and these are what I use currently. Though of course, I didn't have those up until very recently. Previously, I was using the Sennheiser HD 630VBs. Then, of course, with all of the physical hardware aside, where exactly does it go once it's in my PC? Well, usually I'll just use OBS Studio to record my screen and voiceovers simultaneously. Though, for videos where I need to do voiceovers afterwards, I'll use Adobe Audition, which is just a simple digital audio workstation. Though, of course, for video tutorials that revolve around changing OBS settings, which I can't do while recording, I'll be using a piece of software called Bandicam, which I used to use as my main recorder up until I started splitting my audio, being PC sound, Discord and chat sound, and then my microphone sound. So having three separate audio tracks in a video file. As for actually recording, my OBS settings are as follows. I have these three inputs separated, being my game and PC sound, my Discord and chat sound, and my microphone in the third audio track. I record at 1440p as that's the resolution of my screen and 100 FPS out of the 144 that are pushed to my screen just so I can slow down video later and have a relatively good looking product. As for actually recording, I use NVIDIA NVENC H.264 at 60,000 kilobits per second, 60 megabits per second, low latency, quality, high profile. Of course, this bitrate is completely absurd and I end up with large video files, but I have more than enough space on my PC and pulling out extra quality later is no issue for me. Why exactly is that? Well, having a look at my hard disk setup over here, I record to my D drive over here, which is one of my two 4 terabyte disks. This one over here has mostly games, programs, projects, etc., which are all backed up to my Google Drive cloud. Then I have a terribly old 110 gigabyte SSD over here, which I don't use for too much. And I have this two terabyte SSD over here, which is definitely not a top of the range one. I got it for rather cheap on Black Friday. And I use this mainly as an ingest where I re-encode the MKV files that OBS spits out into MP4 and three separate audio tracks. Then I pump those into Premiere Pro, edit and render them to the same SSD over here. Of course, I'm using this SSD a ton, and it's definitely limiting the lifespan, though I haven't got anywhere close to it, filling it up and emptying it many, many times. But of course, I'm more than happy to do this as I picked up this SSD rather cheap. Once I've recorded the actual video, I'll throw it into Premiere Pro where I'll go ahead, edit it together, and then render it out. Recently, I've been using the Adobe Premiere Pro Beta for both Premiere Pro, After Effects, and media encoder, mainly because of the new GPU acceleration, though of course that was pushed to the main branches relatively recently, and it's actually rather simple to control from this Creative Cloud application over here. Once the video is made, I'll go ahead, upload it to YouTube, create a description, tags, title, etc, etc, and I'll get to creating a thumbnail. For that, I'll use Affinity Photo. I purchased this way before I got to purchasing and sinking a ton of money into the Adobe Creative Cloud suite, mainly because it's a once-off purchase and has tons of features very similar to Photoshop 
and some of them which I can argue do a little bit better. Each of my videos have a unique background that I get to changing and saving as separately each video. These background images over here are royalty free and come from pixabay.com. And of course, that's about it really. Most of my video ideas come from actual issues that I've experienced myself recently or in the past. And some of my videos come off of just general questions that I go ahead and research, come up with answers, and then share with the world. As for what kind of videos I'll get to making in the future, who knows? I'll come across them when I come across them. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. I'm all ears. But that's about it for the setup video. Hopefully this video will be more than enough to explain what I have for the hundreds of thousands of comments I get asking what microphone to use, etc, etc. This video hopefully explains most of that. But anyways, that's about it. Thank you for watching. My name is Vin Technobi here for Troubleshoot. This wasn't much of a tutorial video, but hopefully it'll help you with questions if you had any. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.